Hello, Math Rock Stars. Welcome back for another day of Number Corner. Parents, thank you for joining us again. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Before I begin Number Corner, I want to do some more shout outs to some teachers who are reaching out to me. First, a shout out to Mrs. Ryan's Trailblazers. They are located in Puyallup, Washington. You guys are doing an awesome, star, an awesome job. You're rock stars out there and keep rocking on. Uh, next, Mrs. Kennedy's Cool Cats. They go to Kirksville Elementary School, located in Kirksville, Ohio. Keep up the good work. Your teacher reached out to me saying how proud she is, and that makes me very proud of all of you, too. So keep up the good job there. Last but not least, Mrs. Alexander's Super Sharks. And look, I'm wearing my Shaner Shark shirt from my school because we're the sharks also. So Mrs. Alexander Super Sharks, they also uh, they go to... Mitchell Elementary School, they're located in Charleston, South Carolina. You guys keep up the good work, rock on. Your teacher's so proud of you. Uh, keep learning during all this home instruction. Don't give up and keep pushing through. Very proud of all of you. So everybody kiss your brains. Good job. Okay, so we have here, I revealed yesterday, the new card and we have a new shape here. And what I want you to do is take a look at our calendar observation grid and check out the pattern. We've been doing this all month, so we should be getting used to this pattern. Okay, look to see the names of the shapes and also count the sides on the shape to figure out what the name of the shape is. Look at this pattern here for how many, uh, it folds into how many equal parts and also Try to figure out if it's symmetrical by looking at the pattern also. I'm going to scroll it back down. And then I'm going to give you 30 seconds to discuss with your parents the pattern and what you think we're going to be typing in today. 30 seconds beginning now. Okay, 30 seconds is up. Okay, so let's take a look at this shape and we're going to count the sides of it together. One, two, three, four. So who remembers the name of the shape that has four sides? It is a quadrilateral. Very good job, boys and girls. I can't type and talk at the same time or else I'm gonna start typing everything that I'm saying out of my mouth here. Okay, so we have a quadrilateral. If we're following this pattern here with the check marks, the next check mark should go into this column here, saying that it folds into exactly two parts. So let's fold this shape. I'm gonna do it from the top to the bottom. Let's see here. Oh, I could hear some of you yelling at me already through the computer. Is that into two equal parts? Well, it doesn't look like it's the same size. Look, the top is not as long as the bottom. So we can't fold it that way. Let's try to fold it like a book together. Oh, look at this. The edges, they match up perfectly. Nice and even and straight there. And when I open it up, we do have two equal parts. So I'm going to put one half here because we were able to split it. In half, this side is equal to this side. And since when we folded it and the edges lined up perfectly, it's a mirror image, we're going to put yes, it is symmetrical. So if you uh, got all those answers correct, please kiss your brains. Good job, rock stars. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna read today's date together. And then what I'm going to do is reveal not only Friday's card, but also Saturday and Sunday. That way, tomorrow, we can go over all of those cards and we'll be all set to come back on Monday. All right, so today is Thursday, April the 23rd, 2020. So tomorrow, let's see, after Thursday, the next day is Friday. Friday, April 24th, 2020. Then the next day, after Friday, it's Saturday, 
April the 25th, 2020. And then after Saturday comes Sunday. Sunday, see how I went all the way back to the beginning? Saturday, there's no more over here, so I have to go back to the beginning over here. Sunday, April the 26th, 2020. So let's take a look at these shapes here. I'm gonna flip over Friday's card. Mm. And I actually got a little bit of a head start. I cut that one out already. So here we have that shape. You can hold it any way you want. And then let's look at Saturday's card. Hmm, that's an interesting one. I didn't cut that one out yet. And then let's look at Sunday's card. Okay, so if you want tonight, get a head start. You can cut out those three shapes, shape 24, 25, and 26. We'll go over all of those tomorrow on Friday. And then I'll also reveal the 27th Mondays. That way you can work on that over the weekend too. All right, boys and girls, let's take a look here at our geo board. I put today's shape on there that we cut in half. And if you remember the first time when I folded it, I folded it from top to bottom. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I see something jumping around on my computer screen here. I'm having some technical issues today. All right, so let me use a marker over here. I will use, how about if I use green today? Okay, I'm going to slice it in half this way, like when I folded it like this. And that doesn't really look symmetrical. You see this part here? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. But then this part, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when we split it that way, it does not fold equally. Those are not equal parts. So I'm going to erase that line. And what I can do is count these pegs again. We had three and then three equals six. So I use that doubles fact. That way I can split it right down the middle, right in between one, two, three. I'm going to go right in the middle there. Now we have equal parts there. This side is equal to this side. Okay, we have our days in school. We're going to look at this chart and say 100. Then we count these by 10. 110, 120, 130, 140. But then we have to start a new column here. After 140 plus one more is 141. And yesterday we did all of that work and we got some of these ones. We grouped them all together and it made a bundle. So I put another 10 stick here. So we had 140, but now today I have to put another one. So you can talk to your parents. What number am I going to erase and what am I going to change it to? What's that? You want me to erase the green zero? I think that's a good idea because look, I don't have zero ones anymore. So I'm going to erase that zero. And what's that? I have to put a number one there. Okay, the one is for one, one left over. So the blue one is for one group of 100. The red four is for four groups of 10. One, two, three, four. That's 10, 20, 30, 40. And then the green one is for one, one left over. Okay, I'm gonna change the color because I'm gonna make our big math equation now. The blue is for 100 because we have 100 there. Uh, that's not going to work. I have to change it to that. All right, here we go. 100 plus, now I'm not going to just write a red four. I know we do have four groups of 10, but when I count them by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, that's what we have to write, 40. I'm not going to write four because they're groups of tens. 100, oh, that is a really sloppy looking zero. 100 plus 40 plus one, le one, one left over equals, and our total number is 140, oh, that's sloppy too, 141 for 141 days of school. Good job, guys. Okay, now we have here our popsicle sticks for week three. And yesterday, 
we spun the spinner and we got some more popsicle sticks and we ended up having a total of 10. So if you remember, I got rid of those popsicle sticks and I exchanged them for this bundle of 10. So we have one group of 10. So I'm going to spin the spinner. Oh, let me turn off the marker. We don't want the marker. I want to be able to spin the spinner. Let's see what we get. I hope we get five today. I want a lot of popsicle sticks. Let's see. Three. I'm a little disappointed, but you get what you get and you don't get upset, right? My students know that saying. All right, so let's add three popsicle sticks here. One, two, three. So what we're gonna do to count these, we point to this bundle of 10 and we say 10, then we count up by ones, 11, 12, 13. And what I'm gonna do is I have my popsicle sticks here. I'm taking out three more popsicle sticks since we spun a three today. And in my bag, I have that bundle of 10 in here already from yesterday. And I'm going to add these three more. And then tomorrow, since tomorrow's Friday, what I'm going to do is we can get a little sneak peek maybe and add them all up together to see how much we have. We'll see, because I also want to do the next week's also. But uh, maybe we can see if we can exchange any of them yet. I don't know. We'll soon find out. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to stop there because the only other tab I have here is with the letters. And we didn't get to a letter today, but I don't know. Look, let's look at the calendar again. We might be able to add a letter tomorrow. We'll soon find out. And then maybe we can try to figure out this riddle for four halves equal two blank. If we unscramble the letters, we'll have to find out. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep on learning and keep working hard with your parents during these school closures. Rock on. See you tomorrow. Bye.